Hey everyone, it's Anaj, and right now it's time to break down the hour-long special of the Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer reveal. I'm going to attempt to condense this hour-long special into a relatively short video of everything you need to know. I'll cover the new heads-up display, player movements, character customization, loadouts, killstreaks, maps, and multiplayer modes. First, let's start off with what you'll see first when you start playing, the heads-up display. The biggest change is the addition of your score, kills, deaths, and assists being shown at the top right. The kill feed has been relocated underneath your KDA spread, but maintains roughly the same look and size. The map is shown in more of a widescreen ratio, and the ammo, nades, equipment, and killstreak progress layout look to be similar to previous games. Right after noticing the HUD, you'll feel how player movement has evolved. These new moves include the contextual lean system, knee slide, mantling, and hopefully T-bowing. The contextual lean system is a fancy way of saying that you can lean around objects by pressing a button. Knee slide lets you transition from sprinting to croucher prone without losing momentum, similar to dolphin diving. And finally, mantling lets you vault over walls, cars, and any similar height objects without missing a beat. Unfortunately, T-bowing didn't make the movement roster. Next up is character customization, which is transitioning away from the customizable classes that we've been used to. Now, you'll be able to create and personalize up to 10 individual soldiers, each with custom loadouts, gear, and clothing that add up to over 20,000 combinations. First, you'll start off with one soldier, but as you level up, more and more are unlocked. Each one can only be prestige once, but when a soldier is prestige, you won't lose all of your items like in past CODs, a feature I definitely like. Moving on now to loadouts, Activision says that there will be more than 30 new weapons and a completely new weapon class, the Marksman Rifle. This class will operate either as a scope sniper or a single shot assault rifle and is meant to bridge the gap between ARs and snipers. Weapons are unlocked unlike previous CODs because now in Ghost, you can unlock any gun you want as long as you have enough squad points. Like BO2, you spend points on your primary and secondary weapons, items, and killstreaks. Perks now have a budget element to them as well. Each perk has a value of 1 to 5 points, and players can choose to allocate their 8 perk points across as many perks as they can afford. I really think this is a great change, because we all know that perks are not created equal and do not deserve equal weight. The 7 perk types confirmed include Speed, Awareness, Handling, Stealth, Resistance, Equipment, and finally Elite. There are going to be 20 new killstreaks and ghosts, including the ability to call Riley. Riley will attack enemies as well as bark when they are close, acting as a tracking system. They are also moving back to the strike package setup from Modern Warfare 3, with Assault, Specialist, and Support packages. Assault packages include SATCOM, which replaces UAV, and is deployed on the map floor rather than through drones, Guard Dog aka Riley, and Maniac which is the newly named Juggernaut. Support packages include Night Owl which is a drone that detects close enemies and protects you from explosives, MAAWS which fire guided missiles from the free fire shoulder mounted rocket launcher, and finally the coolest one, Helo Scout which provides sniper support from a controllable helicopter. Death streaks have been completely removed. Ghost will have 14 maps in total, and every location will have interactive elements, like a train carriage falling off the map after being hit with a missile. Also, some maps will have map specific killstreaks to them, which means that killstreak can only be performed on that particular map. Activision stressed the destructible environments of the maps and mentioned that players not only need to know the layout, but also what maps are capable of. Activision announced that there will be 7 new modes and confirmed the modes of FFA, Team Deathmatch, S&D, Domination, Kill Confirmed, Search and Rescue, Grind, Cranked, Hunted, and Safeguard. We got a quick demo of the Cranked game mode which is centered around Team Deathmatch. The special element to Cranked is that when you get a kill, it starts a 30 second timer. If you get a kill within 30 seconds, the timer resets back to 30 but if time expires, you'll explode. As time runs out, your player becomes faster and faster. Obviously this game type aims at eliminating camping, 
and speeding up the pace of the game. The search and rescue game type is identical to S&D, except players drop dog tags when killed. If the tag is picked up by a teammate, the dead player will respawn, but if the other team takes the tag, then that player is eliminated. Squad mode is a brand new mode of COD that will match you and up to five players against squads of AI enemies and other human enemies. Apparently, AI enemies will do all the stuff human players can do, including corner camping and jump shooting. The smarts and realism of the AI will either make or break this particular game mode. There's more info about using your tablet and smartphone with COD Elite, but I think it's kind of gimmicky and not really needed in this video. Also, clans are a thing and have two-week competitions. Infinity Ward is calling Ghosts the biggest overhaul of multiplayer since the original Modern Warfare. So after seeing these features, do you agree or disagree? Share your thoughts down below in the comment section, and thanks for watching. What is up guys? Don't answer that. Jim of these here. Starting off at 10 is my gamer tag bro. It's more Black Ops 2. This is slow scoping. This is called...